Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. What I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to show you a, kind of a cool little hack you can do if uh, you want to get into synchronized RGB and you don't have a lot of money to spend on your RGB. Um, I'm going to show you this cool little hack that uh, will allow you to not only hook up your uh, cheapy six pin Chinese uh, fans from like, you know, up here, Easy DIY Fab, Asia Horse, and several other brands, but uh, also some other uh, five volt uh, three pin addressable stuff as well. Uh, and you're going to control it all from one little box and uh, you'll be able to control it um, with your remote control and everything is going to be synchronized. So let me show you this first before we go to the screen. I show you how it's done. Uh, this is a uh, typical six pin uh, right there. I'm sure it's probably not showing up too well on the camera because my camera sucks. But uh, let's go ahead and plug this into the controller here. And as you can see, the uh, fan right here is now going. Now what I have <coughs> right here, let me show you is a little thingy I made here. On one end, it's got the, uh, see the little three pin five volt on there. And you can see that it's spliced together with a little couple little connectors that I had up there. And it uh, leads out into this, which is another one of those six pins. And what I did is uh, I snipped a couple ends on it right there so that just the three wires are in there and those are the key ones that we need and uh, let me go ahead and get this one plugged in as well before we get going here all right <clears throat> so that one's plugged in so now what i have is a little uh five volt three pin uh header actually coming off of here and i'm going to take this and this is one of those uh cheapy uh ram covers for like uh memory that doesn't have like a heat sink and it doesn't have rgb on it and say you know you want to put rgb on your uh ram and and this these would go for like uh what is it, like 15 20 bucks or whatever for two of them but uh i'm gonna go ahead and plug that in to the uh connector right here flip that around and as you can see the memory's now lit up and uh actually i have another one here it is and we'll take that one and uh, daisy chain off of that one because you can actually, here it is, here and here. We'll daisy chain those together so we got a couple of those going. And uh, <clears throat> to add to that, we'll take one of these. Uh, this is the uh, Easy DIY Fab. Uh, uh, extension kits for your uh, 24 pin and then you know like the, your your uh, GPU and your EPS um, I actually did a review kind of on those and you can actually uh, if you want to check that out right up there in the corner uh, I'll link to that and you can take a look at that too but uh, here's that one and uh, that also runs on the uh, 5 volt stuff right there so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that one and uh, let me get that one plugged in as well. There we go. And we'll flip it over here so you can see that. So you can see a couple of RAM covers. You got the 24-pin uh, extensions going. You got a fan going. And here, let me reach behind me here over on the little shelf here. And I'll grab another fan. And uh, I'll plug that one in too. Just for shits and giggles. Now, well, let's do another one. <clears throat> this is fun. I love plugging in RGB. I don't know about you, but I do. It's fun. And there's another one. You want to get another one? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got another one right here. Yeah, we'll throw another one on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get it to line up there we go so yeah we got uh what four fans going on there and uh the ram covers and the extensions and uh like i said you can synchronize those with the remote 
um, we'll just take the remote here and we'll uh, change it to like a solid color. There you go. It's all red, green, blue, purple, whatever. Um, and we'll go back to auto. So yeah, ain't that cool? Now, how I did that <clears throat> was, uh, let me go to the screen here and uh, I'll show you what I did. And uh, this will give you a little visualization here. On the right hand side uh, of the two images that you see here, that's the uh, six pin. And uh, this kind of gives you a little idea of uh, where you would need to cut right here. Now, this, this, this kind of shows you the orientation. Like I said, you got the bottom side there where you can kind of see the pins. And then the top side here where you see these little uh, things right here and right here. That, you know, shows you where your plugs, plugs in. And that would give you an idea of uh, what side we're looking at here when we go to cut. You don't want to cut the wrong ones. You can screw this all up. But anyways, uh, looking at it from this angle here, you can see the two ends right here are cut. And this one right here is cut. And let me see if I can get that on camera here for you. There we go. Let me get out my pen here. And be right here. Uh, there we go. Get a little light there. As you can see, that side's one's cut. This side, two of them are cut. And like I said, uh, plugs in down that way. And we'll go back up to the screen here. So, anyways, uh, this is how the uh, leads connect. You got your 5 volt there. The data's in the middle. Ground right there. Now, these two right here control your fan. So, these would actually probably be uh, 12 volt. I imagine those are probably 12 volt fans. So, so, if you want to do something with that, that's something to keep in mind too. But let's not get into that. Skip that for now. But uh, yeah, you'd want to cut these right here and you'd want to cut right there and splice into it. Uh, you know, save these, lead them up, and then uh, figure out what you want here. And right here, it, it, it to give you a representation on the three pin, here's your five volt, there's your data, there's your ground. So, it's, and it's really easy to, to, to trace these back too. You just, what I like to do is maybe like hold it down and take my finger and, and just kind of run it up straight until you get to the end. And you can see, uh, until you get to the end and you can see which one is which. Uh, if you flip these around accidentally uh, while you're trying to figure out the wiring, it, it probably ain't going to hurt nothing. Uh, it's only five volt and this is just you know kind of a cheapy controller but uh from the get-go here you this is what you want to go with here so kind of keep that in mind uh five volt data ground that's all really you need to remember and uh <clears throat> this hack actually would work on uh other types too not just the uh three pin like this it'll also work like on the jst which is like what uh deep cool or or, or uh, fantex uses or leon lee or whatever and uh yeah even if you want you could even do it with the corsair uh, i don't really know why you'd want to do it with corsair i i guess you could i could see somebody wanting to go the other way from corsair to the to the uh six pin but yeah but if you wanted to i guess you could you know you could, you could take the uh chinese uh controller box and uh control some uh, Corsair stuff with it. <laughs> I'd show you that, but I don't feel like digging out some Corsair stuff. But anyways, uh, now there, there is a little bit of, uh, you know, wire stripping and wire cutting involved in this. So, you know, be careful if you're going to try this hack. And I would absolutely positively uh, recommend that you use uh, some connectors like I used right here on this to splice them in i mean i guess you could like if you want you could uh you know snip it and strip it away and twist them around tape them up and that would work too but that's kind of messy i i, I honestly would recommend you use something like this uh if you're going to do this hack uh but like i said this this is made really for people that want to do uh rgb on the cheap uh if uh the corsair stuff for the uh 
Fantech stuff or the uh, you know some of these other brands is uh, a little too rich for your blood and uh, but you do want to do some full synchronization then yeah I mean you know it might be something worth looking into <clears throat> oh excuse me throat's a little dry today sorry about that but anyways uh another thing you can do <clears throat> if uh you're too chicken shit to do this hack <laughs> is you could actually buy uh <clears throat> the connectors for this too and that's actually from if we can get it on the screen there moddiy.com uh they sell one for 9.99 uh it comes from china so it would take a couple weeks to get here if you order one and it's uh called the motherboard five volt three pin rgb female to mini six pin female adapter cable and basically what it is is it's the uh <coughs> exact same uh thing i'm showing you here in a hack except uh this one's going to cost you some money uh my hack is uh cheap <laughs> it's free really well not free but maybe get you a couple connectors but you could do it basically the same way and here's a representation of uh it being utilized like on this one where it comes out from that controller box and gets converted to a five volt three pin and a uh addressable rgb strip is connected in its place instead of one of those fans so that's kind of a neat little thing there uh 17 centimeters see if i guess if i wanted to i could make these myself and and uh not be so sloppy with my connectors down there you know i'm just using some simple little uh things to splice into them and connect them together but yeah if you want to you could actually make one of these yourself uh if you're so inclined to do so uh i'm sure you could probably get the parts off of amazon to make these yourself and if you want go into business yourself and sell these yourself hell right nine bucks here probably cost you oh probably two bucks to make one off of uh, parts from Amazon because you, you can get these end pieces and the wires and what have you. But uh, no, I mean, it, if uh, you want to do it yourself, you absolutely can. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I showed you there how that goes. Uh, it, it really does come in handy. And uh, hopefully you learned something today. Um, I was a little bored. I got my build coming up. See, here's, here's the delay on that one is... Uh, my job hours have changed and the computer that i'm doing is actually going to be a transplant to a new case uh so the lady's using that still and i'm waiting for that to become available once it does i'm going to uh do a couple videos on that one that one's actually i i uh see it, it looks like shit on the inside uh got a lot of smoke dust in there and what have you that i need to clean out but uh, i'm gonna make that one prettier and uh she's kind of on a low income uh so this is actually uh one of the hacks that i'm going to utilize in that build and so you can see how that hack is done uh before i actually show you the video on that build but uh this isn't using the more expensive stuff this of course is the cheap chinese stuff so you know you're talking like uh like what 30 bucks for these sometimes less uh these go for like uh i think 14 something like that maybe 20 bucks i don't remember right offhand uh these kits with the uh 24 pin and then the gpu and eps and all that other stuff go for 35 bucks and you get the extensions and the rgb so that's kind of cheap but i think those are sold out at the moment this is just uh the cheaper stuff that i had on my shelf and that's actually what i'm putting into hers because she is lower budget and it's not really in her price range to go with the uh more expensive stuff so this is kind of a, a the little bargain basement uh, rgb that i do for people and i kind of wanted to share this because um i love to do uh do synchronizing and some people just really don't know how it's all done and uh some people like want to get a little more advanced some people just want to save some money so uh hopefully this helped you guys all out and uh that's going to be it for this video i will talk to you guys later i will see you in the next video everybody have a great weekend and bye